So all the snow that we had on the ground last week, that has slowly melted all week long. And last night, we ended up getting rain all night long, and everything is a complete muddy mess right now. So the pond, all the ice on the pond is pretty much all gone now. So we want to get the ducks out of the barn. Yeah, today's the day. <laughs> yeah, they are making a mess in the barn, so we're going to get the ducks moved out there. There was a Canadian goose out there earlier, mm -hmm. like a lonely single canadian goose sitting out there and uh i don't know if he's still out there or not but uh he may have some company here in a second oh wait oh power <laughs> out. i'm trying to turn the, the lights on the power went out here it's one of those weird country things right all of a sudden the power goes out there's and it's been out for about an hour we don't know what the deal is for how long it's going to stay off. So you may not be able to see anything. We'll have to get the flashlights out. <laughs> We're going to do what we did last time. Let me get inside. Good duck egg. Try not to break it. So I'm just gonna try to chase the ducks into this cage and then we'll haul them out to the pond. Well, I didn't quite think about it when we came out here to move the ducks. I forgot the power was out. <laughs> so, probably not very good light in there in the barn. We were going to clean out the... I was going to clean out the where the ducks were also. Get that all cleaned out and get it ready for chickens and, and birds. We already ordered our birds from the hatchery. I think a few weeks ago, we ended up ordering... Um, we ordered six more ducks. We ordered turkeys for the first time. Rebecca wanted... Some kind of like royal palm, fancy looking turkey. And uh, so we got some of those turkeys and then we got some regular broad best breasted white turkeys that you normally use for meat. And then I ordered some uh, Cornish cross, Cornish cross chickens, um, which will be chickens that we raise and butcher as well. So we, I think it was close to 40 birds we ordered and they're supposed to show up mid April or April 22nd or something around in that date. So uh, if you guys are looking at ordering birds, so we ordered a couple weeks ago, you may be pushed out several weeks. So just keep that in mind. If you're wanting to get birds this year, you might wanna go ahead and get them ordered and, and uh, you know, get those coming and get your, you know, get them, we call it reserved, get them reserved because they may be going fast. I think they're happy to be back in their pond. I know I'm happy to have them out of the barn. Yeah, it's up quite a bit. Yeah, 
you can see that the grass is somewhere back in here where the normal edge is. It's not up over your boots yet. Here's your food. They've got food every day. They're probably not interested. They're more interested in having the water. Yeah, they're excited to swim. Get cleaned up. Yeah, we were going to clean out, and we may still clean out the the brooder stall that we were keeping the ducks in, but I don't know how. Hey, our power's on. Hey. The power is on. Our lights are on. So I guess I guess we can go back to the barn now and clean the... There's mice under there. I guess I'm going to be cleaning it because Rebecca <laughs> doesn't want to mess with mice. So let's head back to the barn and see if we can straighten that up a bit so that we're ready for... Uh, ready for the birds whenever they show up here in another month so some of you may be thinking why did we put them back on the pond that it could probably freeze again well hopefully not you know it's been it's been in the 50s actually the last couple of days and it's going to be March in a couple of days so hopefully we're on the way out of winter and we'll start warming up so it it had to get cold for several days for this pond to completely freeze so they made it all the way till they made it all the way to February out here on the pond so hopefully we won't have any problems out here and they'll be fine and we won't have to deal with this again until next winter yep. Yep. so Rebecca ended up putting one of the cats in here to see if it can find if there's any mice buried here in the straw if they've made a home in here so we'll see if he finds any but needless to say Rebecca's afraid that the mice are, are inside of here somewhere so I'm gonna be the one cleaning the barn today I think so far, your cat is just sitting here taking a nap. He ain't finding any mice. Look at him. He activates when you start moving stuff. Like oh, so I need to start moving stuff around, and then he'll yes. he'll get the mice as they come out. Yes, that okay. activates his hunting. Okay. <laughs> so the this brooder stall is completely enclosed in this hardware cloth, so that the cats can't normally get in here and hunt mice. But typically it's clean. There's there's nothing on the floor. It's a bare concrete floor. But since we put all the straw in here for the ducks, Rebecca's afraid that there's mice made new homes here in the in the straw. So we'll see. Come on, you got a job to do. Here, watch. Come here, Hunter. Anything? I don't see any mice. Watch out, we'll get your tail. I don't see any. He's looking though. He's looking. So we did end up taking all that straw and we just spread it out here in the barnyard. Did that for two reasons. One, the barnyard is complete mud, so at least it gives you something to walk on instead of mud. And two, I really don't feel like straw does a very good job of composting in our compost bin. So might as well just put it out here and let it mix into the barnyard instead. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy that we got the ducks out of the barn. I think they're pretty happy to be out of there, too. Oh, yeah, they were, did you see them? I mean, they flew to the pond. They were just, <laughs> they were happy to see the water. And, uh, yeah, the ducks were, I think they're glad to be back home. I'm also very happy that there was no mice in their stall. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't any mice. She was all worried about the mice, didn't want to touch the straw. And there wasn't any in there. <laughs> but we got it all cleaned out now, so we're ready for whenever we get our other birds. Yeah, and the, and the barn itself is fairly clean right now anyway. Um, Rebecca was mentioning earlier that she was happy that we didn't do deep litter this year. Yeah, absolutely, because that was like a whole day or two of work to clean it out every year. So 
we don't have to do that this year. Yeah, yeah. It was like a, it was. We'd have like every year. It'd be an all day job for sure, to to clean out the entire barn, and we've we've kept it fairly clean uh, throughout the winter. So we won't have that big job this spring. So that'll be nice. Yeah, and this year was an experiment to see what I thought about not doing the deep litter, and it got pretty cold. Uh, for about a week and the animals did fine so i think that is not something we will do ever again no I just i just think it ends up being such a chore when it's yeah. over with you end up with like i don't know like truckloads <laughs> worth of <laughs> of stuff to shovel out of the barn it's a it's a big job yeah yep so i think um overall this is probably all we're going to get done today it's been a fairly miserable day today mm -hmm. um rained all last night it rained this morning and i we the power went out for like an hour and a half. We have no idea why. It's a, that's one thing. If you live out in the country, be prepared for just a random power outage <laughs> here or there. It happens. But uh, I think that's all we're going to get done today. We're going to go ahead and uh, take some hay to the billy goats and get a few other things done, and then that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Come on. There you go. There's the pond. <laughs> Peking can't fly. <laughs> They're like, I want to fly. There you go. Well, I think they're happy to be back in their pond. I know I'm happy to have them out of the barn.